Not much is known about Uncle from Red Dead Redemption. He shows up towards the end of the game, and like John said, he looks like he's been eating poop. Uh, he's lazy, he doesn't want to help you out with anything. He also shows up in Red Dead Redemption 2, which takes place 12 years beforehand, and he still looks just as old. What happened? He looks exactly the same. I guess there's a little poop in his beard. Uh, he always shows up, he's having a good time. It's hard to find him when there's work to be done. But I got to thinking, where did this man come from? This man who has been old his entire life. Where has he been? What has he seen? Why did he start eating poop? And I decided there is only one place that can explain where he came from. Only one place is harsh enough to mold a man and break him in a way that uncle is broken. And that place is Kenshi. So now, enjoy the tale of Uncle starting the gang and settling a little town called Lumbago. So we begin in the hub, in the first city. We go straight to the bar. We see Hobbs, he wants to have a drink, we listen to his silly story, and he joins the gang. We are going to pass through Squin to the edge of the swamp. On our way to Squin, we come across what looks to be some very, very friendly slave mongers. So after a bit of a detour, we finally arrive into Squin, and it's time for the gang's first job. Get in there, uncle. It's time to steal some food, because the gang has nothing. We steal some rum for money as well. Look at Uncle, so spry, so ready. Ready to do what it takes for the gang. We get to the swamp village, we're able to make some trades for some materials, and then against all logic, we decide we're just gonna start building right away. Immediately, day two, let's start building. And oh, we even have a research bench, because uh, uh, that's what Uncle does, researching. Hobbs, meanwhile, goes back to the way station, meets Lars, who's a bit of a punk. He doesn't join the gang. And Uncle, meanwhile, gets paid a visit by the Hivers. They have a bunch of goods for us, but we can't really afford anything that they have. Hobbs is having some problems. He's, he's not going to make it. Luckily, Uncle is nearby, and he's able to make the save. Even though the bandits are close by, they don't see us. Uncle's able to bring Hobbs back to his feet. Uncle, for the gang. Oh, looks like the bandits are having problems of their own. That gives us a chance to get Hobbs back to his feet and get back home. Whew, crisis averted. Good job, Uncle. This is where things start to go downhill. We decide inexplicably to build a stone mine here because we've committed to this base that we really shouldn't have yet. Hobbs is recovering, so Uncle's gonna make his way back to Squin. He's gotta steal some more food for the gang. Ah, look at Uncle go. All that physical activity. Uncle stops to spy on... Oh. Looks like some hungry bandits and a very interesting message has popped up on the screen. Looks like a raid has arrived at Lumbago. Oh, well Hobbs is here. He's still recovering. He's still in pretty bad shape. Who else is around? Oh, the Band of Bones has arrived. There is an enormous amount of them. We have nothing. I don't know what they want to take but they're here and they're going to take it Hobbs is a little bit outnumbered oh yeah no they're gonna they're they're gonna make their way I guess slowly but surely uncle meanwhile has arrived at Squin and oh uh, well they're slowly working on the door there for whatever reason uh, Hobbs is going to steal some food. Immediately caught. 
So he's going to try and... Oh, alarm raised. There you go, uncle. Get out of town and he's... He's not going to make it. They take him back. Hobbs, meanwhile, looks like he's unconscious too. Uncle is in jail. He's been imprisoned. He's chained to the pole. And oh, well, this gentleman uh, who's missing limbs is crawling to freedom. Looks like Uncle will be inspired. He's going to break out for the gang. Hobbs is a little less inspired right now. He uh, He's playing dead uh, for his life. Uh, looks like he didn't win that fight. Uh, meanwhile, Uncle still having some problems. Uh, and, oh, the last bandits have finally left. And once again, Hobbs returns to his feet and is able to heal himself. Against all odds, he didn't die. Uh, he's able to start repairing the home too. Everything's looking up. <gasps> Pick success. Uncle, now's your chance. Time to plot the perfect path. And go, get out of the way, you cripple. It's time for Uncle to make his escape. Thankfully, nobody really pays too much attention. And Uncle's kind of able to just slip on out of town. He's a wanted criminal, which really gives the gang some street cred. And he starts making his way to the way station out in the Sten Desert. And Hobbs is going to meet him there as well. And they're unfortunately going to do Uncle's least favorite thing in the world, manual labor. They're going to mine some copper, make some money, get some more supplies. All that good stuff. Uh, they, apparently, they can't go back inside their home in Lumbago. So, after a nice quick restart, let's build some more things we don't need. We're going to return to the way station. We're going to pick up Squint. He is tiny and hungry. Uncle is going to steal some more food. This time successfully, thankfully. Back at home, it looks like we're running away from somebody. Ah, oh, yes, a single spider is enough for us to run away and shut the doors but we've got oh band of bones are returning in a week that's good let's build some more stuff then that, that'll do it all right so we found some more copper nearby Hobbs and Squint are gonna take care of that and three seconds later it looks like yes um oh both our squint is down already and ah I have finally noticed but it's already too late all of the spiders have turned their attention to Hobbs. He tries to escape. But it's already too late. Oh, he's down. I am. Hobbs is dead. But by a stroke of luck, the spiders don't stick around to eat squint. So Uncle's able to save the day once again. Oh, God. Damn it, another bandit shows up. Uncle's probably not gonna win this fight. Uh, especially if more show up. So we gotta run away. Oh, and, but a spider joined the chase too. And, well, this is... Oh, this is going very well. Just fucking Scooby-Doo over here. But looks like the spider ended up eating the bandits instead. Oh, look at that. He's even fucking with that guy. But that gives Uncle a chance to get back and finish healing Squint. He's going to be alive. Donning the gear that his friend Hobbs wore. Uncle's able to bring his friend Squint back and gingerly him place him back and go pay his respects to the graceful body of Hobbs. Hobbs, your death was not in vain. Hobbs has been eaten alive. Okay, well, we'll who was the culprit there? What, one spider. One more spider, good. That's good. More manual labor for Uncle in this morning times, but we pick up black sheep from the way station. We're pretty much immediately attacked and lose the fight oh, hor horribly. And Uncle and his friends are left to die alone in the desert. Turns out the affliction of Lumbago 
wasn't physical. It was mental. From the trauma sustained by this brief, awful, awful run in Kenshi. And while Uncle's friends didn't make it, fate would save him once more in the shape of one more charismatic stranger.